had a few twenties. Dark scale one. Dark colours, winter colours still. You can check that buckle score straight that side of it. Look at that. And then implement that into your fishing. Well, a few years ago, um, I decided to start targeting canals. Um, it's something that's always interests me, and it's local to me anyway. And I decided to go on one at um, stretches further down near um, Meadowall, and I was rewarded with a few fish. I had a few 20s. Um, the biggest was 26 two um, but I did see a bigger fish um, it must have been a 30 when it comes about September October um, did a few sessions in winter uh, not much luck after them um, my first 12 month on canal targeting carp I decided to um, go up to one of the stretches further up above basins so I started off very well I had a few small fish um, and in total from about May till about October I had about 30 I think it was 32 carp out, out in top sections at canal which wasn't bad going and I had 120 out of all them carp, £120 plus. And then I targeted again the following spring uh, and it just went a bit airwire because Covid struck and then time to come out of lockdown and I managed to get a bit of fishing done. Well that was a beautiful start this morning. I've got a banger here, a real banger. I'm buzzing with this one, I'll tell you that. <laughs> My third session down at Canal. Quick overnighter. Right, let's um, show you them. Check this out. Look at that for beauty. About 17, 18 pounds, not weirder yet. Beauty. Cut colours on that. I'm buzzing with this. I think I've just got my first 20 from Canal this year. Um, screamed off. Second bite I've had. I missed the first one. Um, so let's check this baby out then. Still a bit lively. Check that out. First 20 year from Canal. Nice wake up call this. Well 
Well, this takes me on to my um, spring campaign of 2021 on Canal. So I did a couple of trips further down on Canal, uh, which resulted in a blank. So, like I said, it was like beginning of April, and then a few more days passed, and then I decided to um, give one at Basins a try. About mid-April it was. So I come onto this actual this basin and um, cast my rods in. Decided I'd put I'll have a cup of tea and then settle down for the night. And then uh, the following morning, I um, opened my bivy door and it was um, very cold. All my landing net and everything was frozen. So I wasn't expecting a fish, but we can live in hope, can't we? So I decided to just sit and watch the water for a bit. Then out at blue, it was about half past seven or something like that. Um, my right hand rod screamed off, um, which resulted in a small uh, mirror carp, but it was more than welcome. For, so put the rod back out, put it in sling, the fish, um, so it was nice and safe for resting it for a bit. And then I uh, was just getting a bit of breakfast and then um, we rod screamed off again on the same spot which were a bit of a shock the small one was £10.14 ounce, and then it followed with the £15.1 one ounce mirror dark scale one dark colours, winter colours still that was the uh, end of that session I was well chuffed with them fish to say it was mid-April and then uh, a few days later and um, I nailed a very special fish. I had the same fish about three years ago um, and it was just over 20 pound then. So I'll leave you the footage now. Well, I've only gone and got another one. They love this fruit frenzy on here, I'll tell you that. Right, let's get up and have a look. It's a special one, this one. Bit lively. Look at that, £23.13, cut colours and tail on that. Well I've just got to nail one again. Uh, not the biggest, mid double, it's 15 pound, 12 ounce. So, worry of this one. Let's get her up and have a look. Check this out, look at the scars on that. Been in a few wars, this one. I'll tell you that. Nice dark colours. Well, after the um, barren spell, about a month or so, um, decided to change um, sections at Canal. So I come down further down Canal towards one at Basins. The following morning, I was rewarded with a seventeen-pound nine-ounce mirror carp. Perfect scales only a few scales on it and then I decided to do another night in the same place um, and I was rewarded with a 16 pound 6 ounce mirror carp a dark scale one um, which was a very nice fish following my um, two previous fish 
uh, I decided to move back up to um, the previous session um, we had that um, under the bridge so I went back up there and um, I only nailed a small one this time it's only a, just a double that's it but it's still a new, new, unique fish so I'm well happy with this it's like three nights on trot I've had a fish now so let's get up and show you Check that out. Nice double. So, Canal Warrior is a Canal Warrior. As you've seen from my um, last um, fuel fish, um, I do tend to stay a bit mobile. Um, what I do, I usually bait three or four areas of canal up and then I'll uh, chop and change between them areas so it gives a bit of the swim a bit of a rest and also um, it gives confidence for fish to feed without no lines in water so if you put the time and effort and learn about the canals how to fish them and where the fish hang around uh, feeding times uh, and have the confidence to do it and just come down here when it's red hot and just learn, watch the fish and just learn the movements and what the patterns are, what the fish do and then implement that into your fishing to make yourself a better angler and give you a better chance of catching them. I've had this fish about 8 o'clock in the morning um, so it's another warrior um, it's middle of June and um, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I'm going to get 10 fish for my spring campaign, uh, Canal Warriors, which that is good going. So let's get it up and have a look then. Check that out. Fourteen pound four ounce. Well, chuff for this and other backward scars and stuff on this fish. So can't complain. But you don't need a lot of bait. Just need an handful, small handful. That's all you need. Uh, just on each spot, what you choose to do. But always tend to. I tend to go alone in feeding my own baiting areas. Um, which is my spots and basically um, because these fish are very pressured fish uh, I've seen them where they've maybe you've got two or three and you're fishing off at the same spot pressurized or not the same spot but um, where I might go off one area and then someone turns up a few days later and fish at the same area and I've seen the fish just move away from the area and not feed on the area for a few months so I tend to now just to rotate it a bit in the feeding in feeding areas and move from different spots to different locations. Um, but I always keep my options open. Oh, good morning. Well, this is the first. Got a nighttime one. Well, I've just purchased um, recently a Rhino Beam, um, and I must admit. They are very good. Uh, I'm very surprised, and you'll see them before photos in a minute. To say they're only small, they're very strong beam. So I would highly recommend them. All right, let's go and have a look, have a look at this fish then. It's been in some battles, this. It's, I think it's just recently finished spawning this. So. Get some treatment on it. Check that out. Look at that. It's been some wars. This another stunning fish from Canal. Can't fault the Canal at all. I put some treatment on the wounds and stuff. So 
and check that buckle score straight down the side of it well let's have a look at the other side then stunning fish got some nice lovely scale patterns this one it's 15 pound 13 this one so can't complain whatsoever well let's get a bite then get some treatment on that let's see if we can nail another one during the night well I can't complain from my previous fish from the last session um, the battle scarred warrior if you look on my next fish um, that's even a better warrior it was very very dark and long um, and an old fish without a doubt and this was my 10th canal carp at um, the spring campaign down the canal well i hope you enjoyed um, this video of my um, canal carping adventures for the last three years can you please subscribe to the Ron Hutchinson's YouTube channel and Facebook and Instagram accounts? Um, give their content a like and a share. Can you also give my um, YouTube channel and my Instagram page a follow and a like? And um, follow the links below here, please. Um, it would be much appreciated. And. I'm always here to listen. If anyone wants to send a PM or ask me any advice how to fish canals, um, I'll help anybody out. So just send me a message and I'll um, reply back when I see it. Stay carpe, stay safe, and I'll see you on the bank sometime.